What is up guys? Your fellow Yorkshire pudding here, Pudmoto. So probably a bit of a ramble one today, but since starting a TikTok, okay, TikTok has shown to me how truly toxic a lot of people can be on TikTok. Because so far I've posted, reposted a few shorts and stuff. I've um, then also decided to take it upon myself to post a few like controversial topics. I've done it on YouTube before where I say basically voice my opinions on cyclists and see what is to be said. And obviously they do okay for views because people tend to like to argue <laughs> and disagree with you, which is cool because, you know, I'm here for an open discussion, I want to know what people think. But some of the points that people say are just outrageous and it's just like, how is that even <laughs> come to your mind? So the first video I posted was, uh, was basically showing my support for cyclists, basically. I think we get a bad rep for nothing. But then the second video I've posted is, <laughs> oh, the second video recently that I've posted is to do with criminals, basically on scooters or mopeds or well any bike really but balaclaving wearing, wearing scummers basically and you know the type not everyone who wears a balaclava but this is the thing everyone's defending the reason why they wear a balaclava and i'm like dude i'm not saying all people who wear balaclavas on bikes are scummy criminals they're not at all i know they're there for a reason i'm talking about the ones who specifically wear a balaclava without a helmet to hide their identity because they are doing oh shit that's something in my eye holy fuck oh fuck that hurt. ah clear it clear it my eye juices did its thing excellent i'm talking about people who are wearing balaclavas to hide their identity because they're doing illegal shit if you're not doing anything illegal, then it's definitely not aimed at you. You're fine, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> but then I've also had the other side, because I insult the people who are the criminals robbing bikes and shit, I had people commenting, basically threatening to rob my bike, and I'm like, yeah, dude, I, I'm guessing this video's aimed at you then. And it's just, I don't know, there's just something about it. Some people, I think, totally miss the point. And then some people, it's just like, yeah, yeah, just come on and get threatening, why don't you? Like one guy who was just like, oh, they'd steal your bike easy. And I was like, they can fucking try, mate, but we'll see what happens, won't we? What did he respond? I'd have it. He was like, I'd fucking have it. And I'd just rob it just to burn it out. He said, I'd be doing you a favour. I'm like, oh yeah, you'd absolutely be doing me a favour, you massive cockwank wouldn't you? Stealing my bike, essentially destroying my bike just for the sake of it, not even for money, just because you think it's a shit bike. It's like, behave, mate. What do you ride? But, to be fair, there is a lot of good people on TikTok as well. A lot of people with a lot of sense, and I got definitely, because of those comments, I got a few people coming to my aid and basically saying, I can't remember what one guy said. He said something about, like, you couldn't even steal a skid mark or so. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? But it's supporting me, I suppose. And this guy just got absolutely obliterated. And it's just like, what? I don't understand the thought process of some people. I'm literally there roasting criminals with, with balaclavas who ride around on mopeds and hammers and shit and start knocking hell out of people and robbing shit. And they come on and defend him, and I'm like, right, okay, so you're one of them people then, aren't you? So <laughs> what's the point in commenting? But it's probably a good point to just say, if you enjoy the content here, please consider heading over and following my TikTok. It is the exact same handle and it is the exact same profile picture, so you can't miss me. It's just Moto. I do have an Instagram as well, but I'm tr really trying to grow the TikTok at the minute. So that would be awesome if you could follow, like, comment, whatever you want to do. Share it with your mates. I think some of the things are probably relatable to quite a lot of bikers, a lot of pain points. So uh, go give it a follow. Show the love and I'll show the love back. 
Follow for follow. All that old shit. <laughs> but yeah, so I've got a few corkers as well coming up about like thieves and people who pull out on you and all shit like that. So there's going to be no shortage of content to go on that TikTok and then they'll probably get very quickly put on YouTube shorts as well. And then maybe Instagram reels as well. So we're just trying to, we're trying to grow Pudmoto now. Like I'm really going to try and put the effort into growing this channel because I, I I think the community we've grown so far shows that we can grow a really big community and all the people so far like I get no negative comments on YouTube TikTok's a bit different because it's you know TikTok sick it should be called but on YouTube everyone's so supportive everyone's so nice I literally can't remember the last negative comment on YouTube so I think if the content can start getting out there a little bit more it's got real legs to try and grow and I'm so buzzing for it I'm like come on we can get the thousand subs before the end of the year I know we can we've already we've hit 750 now I think we're at 759 as of recording this which is like next level so mate bring it on bring it on oh man Oh, my indicator were on for so long. Oh no. Oh, that's pain. I've just gone all the way up through Hawk and showing my indicator on. Why do I keep doing this? I never do this. I only do this when I'm filming. And it's like, I've been talking things I want to include the entire way. Oh, pain. Oh my God, that is a good beard. Nice beard. I can't grow a beard. That's so sad, isn't it? Can't grow a beard. Oh. I'm a man and I can't grow a beard. <laughs> and my wife called me bitch tits. <laughs> She'll hate me for putting that in. But that's funny. I can't grow a beard and I get called bitch tits. <sighs> I'm going to put a little disclaimer. Uh, my wife was joking. If you have taken any offence to any of the stuff during this programme, please reach out to this hotline. 0121 fucking do one. No one cares. Oh god, he's defo pulled out on him there. Wow, well done, you fucking bald bitch. Poor, poor Ford Cougar in front. Right, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to basically have a bit of a rant about TikTok, but... but <laughs> I suppose that's all I've really got to say on the matter. So, I will say I love you. <laughs> No, thanks for watching guys, go follow TikTok, subscribe to the channel here, and share with literally everyone you've ever met, do it, just do it now, right, peace.